हेलो फ्रेंड्स स्पार्क मेमोरी मैनेजमेंट दिस विल हेल्प यू इन योर डे टू डे स्पार्क डेटा इंजीनियरिंग टास्क एज वेल एज इन योर अपकमिंग इंटरव्यूज बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट गिव इम्पॉर्टेंस टू इट यू मे हैव नो आंसर टू योर आउट ऑफ मेमोरी इश्यू now according to the spark documentation the memory consumed in spark are of two categories one is the execution memory and second is the storage memory now execution memory is used in computation like shuffling join and the storage memory is used for caching or distributing data to the clusters now let's discuss how this memory are distributed so if you have a memory space this both kind of memory is actually occupying a unified memory space and a portion of it is reserved for caching let's say m is the size of that unified space that can be used by execution or for storage if execution needs more memory it will occupy more space and if storage needs less memory it will release the space to the execution memory and vice versa and how much memory can execution memory occupy the entire unified space no because a portion of the total unified space say r is reserved for the caching and the execution memory cannot take space from that reserved component and how can you know what is the portion of your unified space in your uh, entire memory and how can you know what is your threshold what is reserved for caching so there are two parameters one is called the spark memory fraction that will give you the fraction of the memory used for both execution and the storage memory so that is the size in fraction of your unified space so if you have total memory as like 16 gb so if the fraction is 0.5 then 8 gb memory is used as the unified space and secondly there is another parameter called spark memory storage fraction so that will give you how much fraction or portion is reserved in your unified space so now in your unified space is 8 gb and if this fraction is uh say 0.5 then 4 gb is reserved for caching what about the other memory so that memory which is out of the unified space so that is used for safeguard what is the safeguard for if you have large very large amount of records so then that is the safeguard for the out of memory issue so that will take space for the spillover now how can you check the memory you can have it in the storage por tab in the ui and if you want to calculate is there any calculator yes so let's check how you can calculate the memory requirement let's see in databricks so in databricks uh, i have created a data frame using readme.md file 
which is a text file available in that uh, Spark uh, Databricks dataset. And once this data frame is created, I just take a count. It's not yet cached. And, and before caching, you can use one like uh, method like estimate to estimate that how much uh, memory it can take in uh, JVM in the deserialized form. So I just import the size estimator package and I just use the estimate method. So it's the size in uh, bytes in the deserialized form. The serialized form is much smaller than this. And then if I cache it, I, I can get the uh, total memory it actually occupied in uh, in JVM heap and uh, so I can go for that cluster uh, and if I click on it I can get the job go to the storage and click on the ID and you can see that 3.6 KB in the memory deserialized. Uh, now the question for you, I have uh, told you two different uh, Spark configuration like uh, Spark memory fraction and Spark memory uh, storage fraction. Uh, how can you check that in Databricks? Because if I go to my cluster and go for the Spark UI, and if I go to the environment to check all the Spark configuration, then if I search for that uh, memory fraction or fraction, so I cannot see that Spark memory dot fraction or spark memory dot storage fraction in Databricks. Uh, can you please let me know why is it obsolete? Because it's in the Spark documentation, even if in the Spark 3.0.1, but I cannot find it in Databricks. It only has something relevant that is Spark storage memory fraction that is 0.5. Thank you for watching this video. Please stay tuned for more videos like this and please like, share or subscribe this channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.